Acute interstitial nephritis. Acute interstitial nephritis. A renal lesion that typically causes a decline in kidney function and is characterized by an inflammatory infiltrate in the kidney interstitium. Causes. Drug therapy, most often, e.g. antibiotics, nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Proton pump inhibitors, diuretics, allopurinol, mesalamine. Pyelonephritis. A bacterial infection. In the kidneys. Pathogenesis is based on an immunologic reaction against endogenous nephritogenic antigens or Exogenous antigens processed by tubular cells, with cell-mediated immunity having a major pathogenic role. Cell-mediated immunity is an immune response that does not involve antibodies. Rather, cell-mediated immunity is the activation of phagocytes, antigen-specific cytotoxic T lymphocytes, and the release of various cytokines in response to an antigen. The characteristic interstitial infiltrates, mostly composed of lymphocytes, macrophages, eosinophils, and plasma cells, experience a rapid transformation into areas of interstitial fibrosis. Symptoms, fever, skin rash, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, lack of appetite, weight loss, arthralgias, joint pain and stiffness, Flank pain, pain in urination. Diagnosis, blood tests, eosinophilia, hypertension urine tests, hematuria, red blood cell casts, white blood cell casts, eosinophilaria, sterile pyuria, low-grade proteinuria, majority. Nephrotic range amount of protein, NSAID-associated, isosthenuria. Treatment. Identification and removal of the offending drug. Nutrition therapy. Adequate fluid. Intake. Early steroid administration. Improves the recovery of renal function, decreasing the risk of chronic renal impairment. There is less or no therapeutic benefit when interstitial fibrosis has taken place. 